Okay, I'm here with a document open in Fresco and I want to show you a new feature that's really great and that's right here under shapes. Now we have the ability to draw basic shapes. If I just tap here, I can see in the menu I have a circle, a square, a polygon, and I can use these buttons here to increase or decrease the number of sides on the polygon. I'll go back to square. And when you have the live shape like this, you can use the handles on the sides to sort of stretch and scale. The corner handles are going to do that proportionally. And then this handle at the bottom will rotate. Once you have your shape the way you want it, the menu at the bottom gives you some options of what you can do with it. So if I want this to actually just be a solid shape, um, I'm going to fill it and first thing I'll do is choose a color that I want to fill this with. So I'll just choose a color there and then click the fill button and Fresco asked me if I want this to be a pixel layer or a vector. I'm going to choose vector so that this shape will remain scalable and then it immediately gives me another exact copy of that shape and I have the ability to fill or even use it to erase. So for example here, I'm going to click on the erase button here and it just takes a bite out of the shape below. I can also use it as a mask or a selection. I'm going to go ahead and fill this again, just clicking the fill button. And here's another thing. When you get that duplicate shape there, you can always just choose another tool to get rid of the shape and then go back to the shape menu here and you'll see that appear again. So it almost looks like you can't let go of these shapes, but you can anytime you click another tool. All right, so here's another thing that you can do with this new feature. If I just go to the menu here and look behind basic shapes in this list here, I can see library shapes. So now I have the ability to use shapes that I find in my CC libraries. And right here I have one called capture motifs. And so these are some hand drawings that I just took with, uh, took a picture of with my phone in Capture. And so now I can add these to my document in Fresco. So what I've done is I've just clicked on that one leaf there. And if I add it to this layer, if I keep it on this layer, I can use the erase button. If I tap this to sort of cut out there, let me undo that. Or I can start a new layer. And with that layer selected, then I'll be able to actually use this independently. So what I need to do in order to add this capture motif to my artwork is just choose the color that I want to fill it with. So let me go down here and get color somewhere in here. Then click the fill icon. Again, Fresco is asking me if I want this to be a pixel layer or a vector layer. Because I want to maintain the scalability of this, I'm going to choose vector and that way if I go to get the selection tool here, I can scale this as much as I want to and it maintains its crisp quality. And one last thing about the new shapes feature in Fresco, this modifier button here, when you touch on it, it allows you to scale from the center. So that's either with the corner handles or the side handles. And then when you hold the modifier button and move, your object around, you'll be able to constrain by the X and Y position. So that's just a quick demo of using the new shapes feature in Adobe Fresco.